aspects of my life have really changed because of my job. Like, I have a cleaner. And I felt really weird about it because I've got like a, you know, I grew up working class, had a bit of a chip on my shoulder, like, oh no, if you make a mess, you're supposed to tidy it up, aren't you? You don't pay someone else. But I now know, and so will you know who've got a cleaner, you don't have to feel guilty because they don't do any cleaning. <laughs> do they? We do, before they come over. Yeah, I do it all on a Monday, so Carol doesn't see how I live. Um, <laughs> What does Carol do in my house for three hours on a Tuesday if the place is spick and span? I'll tell you, she's invented a game, and I didn't know it was going to be a game the first time it happened. It's called Find My Vibrator. <laughs> the first time it happened, I didn't know it was a game. I thought it was a comment. I didn't know what she was saying. What I knew was after she left, my vibrator wasn't in its hiding place anymore. <laughs> She'd popped it on my pillow at the top of my bed. And I was looking at it thinking, Carol, <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I thought, is, is she trying to say, oh, the kind of woman who hires a cleaner is probably so lazy, she just lies around masturbating all day. <laughs> I feel really embarrassed about it. I feel really ashamed that she's found it and she knows I've got one and she's moved it, so I thought I'll hide it in a much better place next week to save embarrassment. Somewhere she just definitely won't go. And so where I put it the next week, I thought about it for a long time. I put it in Trivial Pursuit. Uh, I put it inside the board game, Trivial Pursuit, lid on, it's in a drawer with other board games. Three hours later, door slams, Carol's gone, and it's on my bed again. <laughs> and the week after that, this is the week I actually thought I cracked it. I thought, I'm a genius. Where would she never, ever go? I put it with the cleaning products. Uh, <laughs> under the sink with all the sprays, and um, three hours later, it's on my bed again. And by now, um, I've, I've become so anxious about, because I mean, what are we doing? What, what, how does she describe this to her friends? Um, <laughs> I thought, I'll just get rid of the vibrator. I'll just throw it away. Obviously, I can't use it anymore. All I think about is Carol. Um, <laughs> so, um, I thought, I'll just throw it away. But then I worried, oh, if it's not there, what if she can't leave? What if she needs to find it to, like, release herself from a spell? If, if it's not there, she'll just live with me, just going through cupboards and looking under floorboards. I thought, I oh, know, I can't. So what I did instead... It's on a Monday, I spent all day tidying my flat ready, and then um, the last thing I did Tuesday morning was I put my vibrator where she thinks it lives, which is on my pillow at the top of my bed, like a precious artifact in a museum. And three hours later, Carol's gone, and so is the vibrator. <laughs> and I don't know where she's put it. <laughs> Maybe she borrowed it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Lots of other lovely things happening in my life. Um, I got married a couple of years ago. And, um, hey, thank you. I think it's, it's weird to clap it. I, I was really anti-marriage before I got married. And I know lots of you are so young, and you're probably thinking, oh, my God, marriage is such a massive commitment. It doesn't have to be. I'm his second wife. <laughs> so I know he doesn't see it through. Um, and just relax and enjoy myself. Marriage means a lot to people. The worst advice I got, several people said to me, oh, Sarah, oh, marriage, you know, though, it's about compromise. Like marriage, you really got to listen to each other and meet in the middle. And I just don't agree. What if the things your husband wants are awful? Hmm? <laughs> My husband wants lots of things that I don't, like a threesome. Uh, oh, he thinks a threesome is a terrific idea. I'll do an impression of him. He's Australian. Get ready. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, oh we, we could get somebody else involved in the bedroom. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 I can do all of it. I'll just move my arms and legs quicker. <laughs> I, said, I can whiz around the bed a bit. If, 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 I, said, I said, I can put on a funny voice you won't know in the dark, will you? Like, oh, touch my tits. <laughs> there you go.